High Peaks Hospice and Palliative Care is an organization that focuses on end-of-life care with an emphasis on quality of life for anyone who has been diagnosed with a terminal illness. One of the many benefits to hospice care is having a certified RN on call and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Patients don't travel to hospice. High Peaks Hospice travels to the patient. Regardless of the season, weather conditions, or time of day. I'd like to introduce you to one of those patients and his wife and caregiver. Nappy and Judy Marcotte are two of the sweetest people you could ever meet. They have shared their home with children who needed a safe place to live in a difficult time. A home which Nappy, with some help from his friends and family, built with his own hands. I'll tell you what, Nappy and Judy, they tell this story better. I'll let you hear it from them. So then we had a few different kids that we raised and we helped. The kids we had, they were a lot of fun. They were, oh, they yeah. were a lot of fun. Well, yeah. The first one we got was well, Tina. Well, the first one we got was Tina. Her uh, mother was going, and she was dying. And Tina's. She, she asked us to take her when she was 12. But we had to go through foster care to do it. Tina was just like a daughter. Yep. You never heard Tina say, this is my foster mother and foster mother. This is my mom, this is my dad. We couldn't take her. Just to take her? We couldn't just play, the mother, we couldn't just play and take her, had to go through the state. And we told the county, we told them, we don't want nothing, we just want, we'll, we'll take her, we'll raise her. And Tina was always big hearted, always trying to do something for somebody all the time. I think that's why I love that girl so much. If you asked any of the kids growing up around the Marcots who was one of the coolest people you'd ever met, I bet you they would tell you a nappy Marcot. I used to go home on weekends and we, you ask her, I, 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 I would take them on a Friday night, I'd get home at 7, 8 o'clock and I'd have 10, 12 kids here waiting. Backpacks, sleeping bags. They'd go camping for we'd the weekend. We'd go camping for the weekend. As tired as I was, I, I'd still, we'd truck in there after dark. We'd truck back in the pond. Sometimes it takes us two to three hours to get back into a pond. Back in there, they'd get their firewood. They'd have their little fire for the night. And have their fun. But Sunday, come back out, try to get a couple hours sleep before I went back to work Monday. <laughs> try to rest up. Matter of fact, I had to go to work to get rested up. I had to do it all over again. I'd do it all over again. That's how much fun it was. They told me I was coming home to the hospital. I, I, the first thing that came to my mind, too, I'm going home to die. And I know they didn't expect me to live too long after I got home out of, out of, out of the hospital because of the way I was. But after the second day of being home, I see what hospice is. Hospice isn't here for you to die. Hospice is there to help you. Uh, hospice patients are interested in, in living the best the best life they can for whatever remaining time that they have. So the hospice nurses um, go and see the Marcots once a week and more often if they are in need of us. We go and uh, check, for example, Nappy's blood pressure. We check his heart rate. We make sure uh, all of his medications are in line for the week. And uh, we check his symptoms, like we see um, how his edema is, um, if he's having any increased swelling in his legs. 
So with Nappy specifically, I think they have really benefited from the nurses helping them manage their medications. I go in and um, pour meds for the week with his wife, and then I usually do a status check, which involves uh, checking his blood pressure, um, seeing if he's in any pain, and um, just go over you know how he's been feeling for the week and if he was able to get out because. Some patients like to get out and are unable to get out, and he has had a few good days where he is able to go to church, or he went to bingo one night to work, which is good, because when he first came on, he wasn't able to get out. Because Nappy has a significant cardiac history. Uh, he has frequent episodes of chest pain. And I think with our help, uh, he and his wife have really come to learn how to manage uh, his episodes of chest pain. Hospice also has uh, an aide here in our organization, and she's extremely helpful. They see uh, being there and helping him with his personal care, I believe that has had a really positive impact on his everyday quality of life. How do you feel? It? I feel pretty good today. How's the tightness? Still there. Is it? I've been playing for the last two days. Anything helping with it? I've been drinking a lot of hot tea and I've been doing a lot of treatments. Okay. It breaks it up, loosens it up a little bit, yeah. And I think it's I think it's such a great, great organization, hospice. Do you mind telling uh telling me what you went through? Like what do you mean? With the breathing, how I couldn't breathe, and how oh, and how it thirteen the, days till he was in the hospital. The pain and stuff that I was in. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna have to go through all that again. Oh, he's better now than he was then. So you, you know, feel that you're more comfortable now that you're in hospice than when you were just in the hospital? Yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable. And I know that if something happens, it, 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 I'm going to be taken care of, and I'm going to. Am I going to have a major heart attack? Good chances are I'm going to have a heart attack because of the problems I've got. I, I got no resuscitation anything. I don't want to go have to go through all that pain again. Not like I did when I was in the hospital at 13 days. I'm not going to do it. That's, I, I, and I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. That's, maybe that's wrong. But in my mind, it's not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right now, what Haas is doing to me, I feel I got a good quality of life right now. I got the two nurses that come here every week. I got Lacey that comes three times a week. Right now, I, I got a, I, I feel I got a good quality of life. But so what do you, what do you want? I want a good quality of life, but if, when it comes to time, I just want to be kept comfortable. Do you feel that hospice is honoring that for you? Ho hospice is honoring that to me right now. Bernard Conway, he always had 60, I think he had 60, 70 milkers. So it was a dairy used, farm? Yeah, we used to go down there to help him milk his cows. That's why we used to pull little cranks on him, on his own father. <laughs> I don't believe that about yeah, you. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, we always had to do something to put the cows in or well, lock the fence so the cows couldn't get up to the barn. We always grew up with chickens and cows and pigs. We had a farm. Deer. Deer. No deer. And a deer. And, and well, deer.